question, execution of UI action for server side? Your answer should be, UI action runs the server side code only until you check the client checkbox. The client is always false if you want executing the UI action in server level. Question, wait in email notifications? Your answer should be, email notification wait is defined as a required numerical value for this notification's priority relative to other notifications, with the same target table and recipients the system only sends the notification with the highest weight. Question, what is ACL? Your answer should be, an ACL is access control list that defines what data a user can access and how they can access it in service now. Types, match the object against field ACL rules match the object against table ACL rules. Objects, client callable script includes processors UI pages record. Question, what do you mean by star dot star in ACLs? In ACL your answer should be your answer should be means first star represents all tables and second star represents all fields on those table question what is the difference between asterisk and none in ACL your answer should be the asterisk when applied with table asterisk applies to all the fields so it is at field level the none when applied with table none applies at the table level. Question, what is a data policy? Your answer should be, data policy checks the mandatory and read only of a field whenever a record is inserted or updated through a web service or import set. For example, if a mandatory field in the incoming record, from import set or web service, is empty then the data policy will not allow to insert that record into the table. The system policy data policies module displays a list of all data policies and where they apply. Question, what is formatter? Your answer should be, a formatter is a form element used to display information that is not a field in the record. Some examples of formatters in the base platform include, Activity formatter, displays the list of activities, or history, on a task form. Process flow formatter, displays the different stages in a linear process flow across the top of a record. Parent breadcrumbs formatter, provides breadcrumbs to show the parent or parents of the current task. Approval summarizer formatter, displays dynamic summary information about the request being approved. CI Relations Formatter, displays on the CI form a toolbar for viewing the relationships between the current CI and related sys. To create a custom formatter, perform these tasks. Create a UI macro to define content for the formatter. Create a formatter that refers to the UI macro. Add the formatter to a form. Question, what is UI macros? Your answer should be, UI macros are typically controls that provide inputs or information not provided by existing field types. Question, why do we use UI macro and UI page as variables for service catalog? Your answer should be, UI macros and UI pages can be used when you need further flexibility to build solutions that could not be built using the other catalog variable types. You can think of these like a block in your catalog which you can customize as per your desire. Question, what is UI page? Your answer should be, UI pages can be used to create and display forms, dialogues, lists and other UI components. Use UI pages as widgets on home pages. To find the UI pages, navigate to System UI UI pages. Question, slush bucket? Your answer should be, 
Slush buckets allow users to select multiple items from a list of available items. They are used in many operations, such as personalizing lists, adding items to related lists, and service catalog list collector variables. The slush bucket interface has two columns, the available items on the left and the selected items on the right. Question business rule that calls email notification send notification through business rule your answer should be you need to create a notification event or modify it existing business rule which is defined in the system for the incident slash problem slash change etc once it is defined there whenever business rule qualification will met then that event or business rule will trigger an associated notification will be sent. One search, events, in the business rule. Two check if any events matches your requirement. Three create a new notification records in notification module in service now. 4. Attach the same event which you created in the event's business rule or modified. 5. Once business rule will matches then events will be fired and associated notification will be sent to the user.